So after considerable time, I'm now actually finished the Ford Focus and I can now move on to the Dacia Sandero, which had the loud knocking noise. So my first thoughts were it was low on oil and so possibly a spun bearing. But we'll find out. Now one mistake I made here was I didn't actually detach the cover from the back wheels. Bit of a silly mistake as you're just about to see. Um, because we're now dragging <laughs> the cover with us. Oh dear. That was actually quite an expensive cover that one as well. And it was a Christmas present from a stepdaughter. Um, so thank, thankfully I didn't have to drive too far with that. Good job I didn't go down the road. And it was just across the courtyard. But anyway, so we'll get that out of the way. And then we can move on to job one, which is to see if that sump I mended has been leaking. So I'll jack the car up. I'm going to start at the bottom of the engine because I'm assuming that the sump that I repaired has failed. Because obviously I took this sump off just over a year ago and welded the holes and patched it, which was probably not the greatest of my ideas to save £20. So there's obviously a serious oil leak here, which presumably is from that sump. So it's a 10mm socket to remove the under tray and somebody else has been under here because they've used two white cable ties and I haven't got any white cable ties so it wasn't me that serviced it last. Yes, foreign cable tie there. So it could either be perhaps they've forgotten to do the sump plug up tight or the oil filter may be loose or something. But pleasantly surprised to see that the sump is totally bone dry. You can see that I've obviously welded that and covered it in a bit of filler because it's not very smooth. So we check the oil filter. No, that's tight. So the garage that last serviced it, it's nothing to do with them by the look of it. So it's not coming from the oil filter, it's not coming from the sump, but it does appear to be very oily higher up and there is oil on the bottom of the exhaust manifold. So not sure what that's all about. Okay then, so time for a stethoscope, I think. So this is where doing YouTube can get a little bit expensive because instead of just using a normal stethoscope, I've obviously had to go for a, an electronic one because it's got an output socket on so I can actually record what I hear. Um, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to try and record a normal stethoscope. Um, I you could put a microphone in your ear or something. Um, but anyway, so we've hooked up a recorder now. Put the headphones on. And we'll see if we can get a recording of this engine knocking sound. So here we go. So you can clearly hear the knocking.
So it might be worth just checking, does it smoke much? So let's have a look and see what we get out the tailpipe. Give it a bit of a rev. I'm not sure if that's actually smoky or not. I'm used to diesels, so... Mind you, I suppose if a petrol car looks like a diesel, then perhaps it is smoky. Yeah. Not got a lot of experience here on what a smoky engine looks like. Um, perhaps a professional can tell me that one. Okay, so finally, is there any metal in the oil? So we'll just check that quickly. Because obviously, perhaps if there is a spun bearing or something, I would have thought there would be some sort of sign in the oil pan. So we'll undo this 8mm square drive on the Renaults. Um, and there's a little sieve in that filter. I think I'll just upgrade the filter to a bigger one. Because knowing my luck, I'll end up covering everything in oil, including the camera. So here we go. So the engine's quite warm. So it's draining out quite nice. And there doesn't appear to be anything in there. So that might be some good news. Because I was suspecting that this might need a new engine. It'd be nice if it doesn't. Right, we'll have a look at this back on the bench. So there's the filter. And there's basically nothing in that. So the mystery sort of continues. I wonder if it could be a valve spring. Would a valve spring give you a loud knocking noise, perhaps? Again, I've got no experience on this. But anyway, so here's some reference photographs, of which there's only two of them. There's one, and there's the second. Okay, so you've been watching part one of diagnosing a loud knocking sound on this 2014 Dacia Sandero with the D4F engine. And thank you for watching and supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. And this video was filmed and edited by me, Mark Savage, in August 2023. And I'll also be found on Instagram, Facebook and X as Coots and Gators.